Hi everyone. Welcome to our online learning platform. I am Tushara Vipillai, nurse educator. Today we are going to discuss about the second unit in nursing research. That is research problem or question. In the second unit, we will discuss the part one related to research problem. Okay. So in the part one, the contents which we will focus are the definition of the research problem, criteria of a good research problem, and steps in formulating a problem statement. First thing we will see what is the definition of a research problem. Okay, a research problem is a question that the researcher wants to answer a problem. Okay, or the a problem that the researcher wants to solve. Okay, we already discussed in our unit one that there are a lot of problems around us either in your working environment or outside your working environment, you have a lot of problems. But identifying a problem for the research is the most important thing. We cannot take all the problems for our study. There are some criteria for selecting a problem to conduct a study. Okay, so today we will see what are the criteria for selecting a problem. Otherwise, we can say a research problem is a situation that causes the researcher to feel apprehensive or confused. Sometimes we can, we will also experience some problems when we will encounter, we will get confused. And if you are competent in that particular area, you will be having a feeling of doing a research on that particular problem. Okay. Next important thing is the criteria of a good research problem. Okay. So before conducting a research, the problem should have to meet all these criteria. Okay, the first criteria is feasibility. Feasibility means it's simple. That means it is capable of being done or carried out. That means you can carry out that research. Okay, that is a simple meaning of feasibility. So the factors influencing the feasibility is the time. Okay, it involves the time, then the cost. If you don't have sufficient money or sufficient resources, you cannot carry out the research. So cost is also an influencing factor for the research problem. Next, equipments and supplies. Okay, some or materials. For some studies, you need to formulate some tools. For some studies, you need some equipments or instruments. If that instruments are not available during the time of your research, or if the instruments are not working during the time of your research, it will negatively affect your research. Okay, so you should have to make sure all these equipment supplies are available and if it is working, all these things you should have to make sure. Next thing is researcher competence. That means the skill of the researcher. Okay, for example, if you want to conduct a study in nursing, for example, you are conducting a research in the maternity health nursing, you should have some competence and skill in that particular area. Otherwise, you will face difficulties and sometimes it will end up in errors. So the researcher should have a competence. Then ethical considerations and availability of samples. So based on the each specific region, the ethical considerations will vary. So you should have to follow the ethical consideration and it's a separate topic, ethical considerations. And the availability of samples. You want to conduct a study on a specific sample and when you will go to conduct the study or when you will go to collect the data, if the samples are not available on that place or the samples are saying, okay, I am not interested in the uh, in the study, that will negatively affect your research. Okay. Second thing is the interest. The interest means the interest of your researcher. Okay. If you have an interest in particular area, sure you will put your complete involvement in conducting that research. Next thing is the solvability of the problem. If you find out a problem, there should be a solution for that problem. If there is no solution, there is no benefit for conducting a research. You already know there are a lot of problems without a solution. So again, you are going to conduct a research on that problem and if there is no solution means that is not a good criteria. Okay, so your research, should, that is not a good research problem. So your research should be solvable. 
then significant significant means simply you can say the importance of your research if you are conducting a research it should be contributing to your profession okay you, either you are working in the medical field or in a nursing field or in a social worker whatever it is it should contribute to your profession then innovative innovative means the research problem should be original don't bring a fake problem to conduct a study or to submit a thesis your problem should be original and unique if your problem is original and unique what happens it will attract the attention of the people and also if it is original and unique it will contribute to your profession okay so these are all the criteria you should have to keep in your mind when you will formulate a research problem so it should be feasible it should be based on the interest of the researcher then solvability of the problem significance and innovative next we will see the steps in formulating a research problem or research statement okay so first thing is the identification of the problem you should have to identify the problem and then you will make a review of literature okay then delimiting the problem statement evaluating the pro of problem statement and final formulation of research problem so each steps we will see in detail in the next part of unit 2 so i hope you understand this part one of unit two if you have any doubt you can comment in this uh, session so i hope it is clear for you and thank you very much see you with another unit